then I should be turning on that one a bit. Guys, welcome back to another Jungle's Travels. Where am I today? Um, Sorry for a walk actually. Nothing majorly exciting today. I'm um, just going to wander to have a look at something. Um, I'll show you in a little minute. First of all, I'm going to get a cup of coffee. Um, so, yes, what we're doing. Basically, I couldn't think of anywhere to go. Which seems to be a recurring problem for me. That, you know, I like doing vlogs, I like vlogging, I like taking you different places. But I can never actually think of where to go and what to do. So, I've come up with a plan. I have a canning plan, my lord. But it'll all become apparent soon. Incidentally, I'm using an umbrella. I don't know why I'm using an umbrella here, actually. I'm using an umbrella to keep the rain off the camera. Because it's a nightmare for spitting, basically. I'm not just being a wuss. Maybe a little bit. Chocolate, please. Yeah, do you want cream last, though? Um, yeah, well then, yeah, please. Yeah. yeah. Is that everything? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you got a lid for it as well? Okay. Have you got a lid? Please. Oh. There we go, guys. Beautiful hot chocolate. Marshmallows and cream as well. 275, not bad. Um, right, so we're going to head in the opposite direction to them ducks. Ah, you know what? Beautiful. Oh, so why did I go for hot chocolate? Because I'm sick of drinking coffee, that's why. Got cream in my whiskers now. See now, I can give you little bits of history along the way. If you look down there, you see the little bridge next to the mo the road bridge? That is the original Turnpike Pack Horse Bridge. I've actually been and look at it quite cute actually next to the old abandoned mill there which I believe has been bought I think it got bought about three years ago actually but nobody's done anything with it so who knows they probably turn it into flats or something but I would imagine the stone section is actually listed anyway that's not what we've come here to see so yeah my problem is that I can never think of anywhere exciting to take you and I have this theory, right, that every town, village, come, city, everything, no matter how big or small, has something interesting in it. Sometimes it's just the people. Could be the buildings, though. Anyway, everything's got a bit of history, something interesting, something quirky. You know what? Out there in your own towns and your villages, you know what's pretty cool in your village. There's always something. So, I have devised a plan to find them. Oh shit! Disaster. My fucking lid. Well, what we're drinking out of that lid, though. Oh well, could have been worse. Could have been the coffee I dropped. So this is what happens when you try and juggle an umbrella, a cup, and a camera. Beautiful little spot, by the way. Beautiful little van over there. Now, 
some of you, as you can see, and without coffee cup by the way, I dropped it. Some of you who have been with me for a while and suffered my channel for long enough will recognise that this is quite a familiar path we're taking. Um, we have been down here before. So last time we came here, that was me showing you the old abandoned Platt Brothers Mill. Beautiful mill, that. I love that mill. Um, started out as Dob Cross Loom Works, then became WH Shawlinson for many, many years. Pallet factory, one of the biggest in the country at the time. Or the biggest in the UK, I believe. In Europe, sorry. Anyway. I've come to show you what's left of the mill. Ooh. Tell you what guys, I've never seen the canal so low. Look at that. I can't actually remember. Wait a second. I can't actually remember the last time that I've seen this canal that empty. Wow. It's almost tempting to go and get the metal detector and see what you can find. Almost. Never seen it like that. I did actually notice down there that the um, one of the sluice gates was open. But if you noticed, there was two drawers, one was open, which I'm assuming drains the canal. I'll tell you what else I've noticed as well. Just across there, see that house that's got the lights on? But from the other side, on the main road, that actually just looks like a little two-bed bungalow. So you think, oh, that's a tiny house that they built, and then when you look at it from this side, you think, fucking hell, that's huge. Didn't realise it was so big from the back. But anyway, that's not what we've come to see. We are building a lot of houses along here, though. Hell of a lot. So, as I said, Last time we came, I showed you the abandoned pallet works and said that they had plans to turn it into a school. The new Saddleworth School. Well, 12 months later on, the mill has gone. And what we have left is the green and grey prefab building. You can just see though, Next to it, they've left a the clock tower. Yeah, I mean, it's a shame. I, I Honestly, I did love them buildings. Never actually seen it from this side yet. Um, yeah, I did love them. And they've all gone now. Cold stone architecture destroyed. Another bit of history, John. What we have left? Well, a shiny modern school that the kids did need, but anyway. There you go. Ready for the next generation. And apparently, on them fields there in front of it, where they assured us that they weren't going to build any houses when they put the school there, guess what they're doing? Yeah, they're building some houses. 74 in total. There you go. Another piece of history gone. That's what I came here to see, basically. I've seen it going up over the last 12 months, but I've never actually took a walk past and seen it. But the kids actually move into it in about a month. Mad. And as yet, the uh, office block slash clock tower thing, they haven't actually got any plans for it yet. See, I originally thought it was going to be incorporated into the school, like a uh, teacher's offices and what have you. But apparently not. Probably get turned into somebody's private house or something, won't it? Looks pretty grey from this side, doesn't it?
So basically this is what I came here to show you. If you remember, it used to be a mill, and now it's a school. Yeah, that's all I came here to see basically. I just thought I'd bring you along, as I've not been anywhere this week, I thought I'd bring you along, discuss our plans for the future, where this relationship's going. It's not you, it's me. Look at that. Anyway, there you go. Almost done. It's quite nice that they've done it in green, actually. Kind of landscape colours. Drab brown, drab green, drab grey. Just like the hills and fields of Yorkshire. Because we are in Yorkshire. So, anyway, that's what I came here to show you. Um, now, like I said, I have a plan, and my plan, I think is quite clever. It's quite an interactive plan, which will help me decide where to go. I've seen what I need to see now. Uh, we're gonna head back to the van. And then I have to wait for a delivery, which will be coming tomorrow. Because um, this interactive idea I've got, I was going to... Actually, that's a nice waterfall, isn't it? Sorry, slightly distracted there. I was going to go shopping and pick it up, but I can't find anywhere that sells it. Close enough. So, Amazon, anyway. I'm going back to the van. I'm going the wrong way, actually, aren't I? I'm going back to the van. I'll see you guys along the way, maybe. Oh, the wind's going in the opposite direction now. That's cool, that, isn't it? Just the little thoughts that go into it. It's all there under the canal. Under the canal, under the river. It's all a lie, it's not under the canal. Oh no, railway, it's under the railway. <sighs> About to put the brolly down, it's a bit windy. Actually, it might be a bit less windy on this side, but on that bridge it was a bit. Fight off light. Fight off light, Rodney, fight off light. You actually look at the gates there. If you look at the water. You can see like the cloud of the water because it's sucking the water down. Which tells you the gates are slightly open. Hence the reason why it's draining. Well, nearly back at the van there. Looks like somebody over there has been uh, camping for the night here. There is actually a sign saying no overnight parking, as you see in a lot of places, but I don't think they're bothered to be honest. Yeah, pretty cool. Don't you look nice? Guys, so, as I was saying earlier, I am really bad at deciding where to go. I can never decide, like, mm, go this way, go that way. And I spend so much time trying to think where to go to find something interesting that I waste a lot of time. So, I have devised a cunning plan. So, I just have this parcel delivered. And this parcel holds a key. Can't find my knife now. 
Looks right. There you go, that'll do. This parcel holds the answer to my problems. What is it you're wondering? This is my solution. This is also what's called excess packaging. It winds me up when they do that. Anyway. See, they could have just posted that through the letterbox as it is. Something get damaged, does it? Anyway. What we have here, as you can guess, is some kind of poster. Can you guess what it is? What we have is a poster of our wonderful country. So, my plan is basically, I can never decide where to go. So I thought, I'll buy a map of the country and use it as a dartboard. I forgot the darts though. I thought I had somebody I haven't. So, map of the country, use it as a dartboard, throw the dart wherever it lands, that's where we go. And try and find something interesting wherever we end up. It's bound to be something now, isn't it? So, right now, what I'm going to do is um, mount it to a board and then put it inside the back door. I think. Now, my kids did say to me, what happens if it lands in the ocean? If it lands in the ocean, we'll get to throw another go. Because as it stands, my van's not waterproof. Well, not oceanproof anyway. But yeah, Hang on, let's move this over a little bit. Yeah, I'll do for now. Lovely, isn't it? So that's the plan. Now, as I said, I forgot darts. I've got a pin, and I've also got a marker. So I think what I'm going to do for the first time is throw the marker at it, and wherever the black spot lands. Yeah, what do you reckon? So this is where we're going next week. I'm aiming for the middle of the country. But what I'm going to do, I think, is find some unsuspecting person to throw the dart next time. That way, there's no bias, is there? Anyway, are you ready? Big black mark there, that'll do. So, where are we going? We're going there. Somewhere on that black smudge. Shouldn't be too hard, should it? Now, I have to say at this point, I kind of expected the map to be a bit more detailed. But, it'll do. Anyway, that's where we're headed. Somewhere in South Yorkshire. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Adios, Bye.